boarding school, I made in Mary Cecilia C. Um, I was going to do a speed build, but OBS crashed and I made the build. So, um, it's kind of small for the lot it's on. Um, it's right next to what's going to be a rental house. I'll also be showing you the uh, sims I made to live here. So, um, oh, and this is all base game. Uh, it's two stories, uh, bed, it's got three bedrooms and a whole lot of bathrooms. <laughs> I don't know why I put so many in, it just, I don't know, it seems like something I should do. Uh, let's do a tab mode tour. So, when you walk in, Alright, well, I'll move the mailbox. I'm gonna get the little but Anyway, when you walk in, you've got this really nice, like, living room area. I don't know what's going to fly to the floor. Um, got some chairs and a gramophone. There's no TV in here because, like, I think the owner is kind of old fashioned. Anyway, you go in the mailbox. And in here, we've got like, a little skill room with a grand piano and a map of the world so they can do their geography. And a bookcase, some areas for the bonsai tree and a chest. Oh, and then the people's playing chess. It's great. Um, over here, oh, there goes my computer. It's trying to take off. Yeah, the first thing in the world. It's from like 1920. Oh, the lights aren't on. That's terrible. But anyway, it's a little bathroom. All these doors are bathrooms and showers. These two are showers and these three are toilets. Um,
garden out back. You can learn the voices from right out there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just a thingy. It's called monkey bars and some kind of boxes. So here is our headmistress. Uh, her name is Brandy Peck. She is in the of treats. She is a snob, gloomy, and family oriented. She also has this experience trait, uh, not trait, aspiration. Um, my, my lore for her is that she's uh, a widow, and this, she used to own this big house with her husband, um, and she couldn't have any kids. She's infertile. Um, and so she, when her husband died, she turned her house into a boarding school for other kids. Um, I can't start the door. Hi, Ronnie. Are you proud of yourself for opening the door? Uh, <laughs> my cat Romeo opened the door to the room where we're recording. Oh, he's kind of nosy. Anyway, uh, this is Evelyn Ray. She is 18. <laughs> She's kind of rebellious. Uh, she doesn't really want to be in the boarding school. She's kind of like upset about it. She didn't ask to be sent here. Her parents sort of sent her here without, you know, her consent to the boarding school. Because um, she was like being the kind of the really bad grades in school. And, you know, uh, she was picking fights. So she's a kleptomaniac and romantic. And she has the chief of mischief aspiration. Um, I think I'm going to put her parents in Newcrest? I don't know, let me know if you think I should put them in uh, Willow Creek. I don't think I'd put them in Oasis Springs. Um, I'm not going to put her parents in a non-base game world, because she's a base game. I don't know, so that would be the This is Felicity Robbins. Uh, she's, you know, the, the classic do-gooder. Uh, she wanted to be ready. Know, uh, Mary Sue, Goody Two Shoes. Um, she's got one secret that uh, Brandy doesn't know about her, but otherwise, she's pretty good friends with Brandy. Uh, I don't know her eyes closed right now, but yeah, she basically follows the rules. And then this is Ethan Draper, and this is Felicity's boyfriend. And she's not in the wall. She's not supposed to have a boyfriend. She's not allowed to. Um, oh, thanks. Anyway, <laughs> he's also, you know, a very classic. Goody two shoes sort of character. Romeo? Sorry. Yeah. Am I My cat is super annoying. Anyway, uh, next we've got the child sims. There are four child sims. Eve Morrow. Um, she's just sort of a. She's. I think I gave her the hot headed trait. Oh, I forgot to show you Felicity and. Okay, Felicity is uh, cheerful and jealous. Uh, she wants to have a sort of no more normal life. And she's kind of like tired of always being, um, I don't know, expected a lot from. And so she's kind of jealous of Felicity, not Felicity, uh, Evelyn. And she has the soulmate aspiration. Um, and then Ethan has the uh, fitness aspiration. I don't know. He's like really into his health, he really likes that sort of stuff, and he's materialistic and a bro. Uh, and then there's Eve, she's hot-headed, she's got the social butterfly trait. Uh, she like is kind of indifferent about going here. She was showing signs of like being a little rude to other children at school, and she was kind of just bossy. Not bossy, I don't like that word. Um, I don't know, she was just... A little off, so her parents sent her here, and she's like fine with it. Sometimes she's a little mean to the other kids, um, but other than that, she's fine. And then, let's see, Garrett. <laughs> Why are you all the way over here, Garrett? I uh, maybe just play on. Anyway, uh, Garrett is a genius. He's got the whiskey desperation. Uh, his parents sent him here because he was, you know, gifted, and they wanted him to get a higher education at a private school. I mean, this isn't technically a school. They still. Oops, they still have to go to school, but um, they, they're also going to learn special skills like piano and violin and gardening and logic, stuff like that. Um, and so Garrett's just like your classic smart kid. Um, oh 
Yeah, I was going to say, I was also going to put Felicity's family in somewhere. Uh, I think her mom uh, might go in uh, the lot next to the land grab mansion. I don't know. I feel like they're like ri like rich and sort of affluential, like the open sieve barns. I haven't talked about them yet, but they're, they're a big family, like the Goths or the uh, Spencer Kim Lewis's that I created for the city. And this is Rory Clinton. Uh, I really like the show, Gilmore Girls, so I named her Rory. She's an artistic prodigy. I think I only had an acting to the one slot, but I don't know. Um, maybe it's left over from the last book. Uh, she is creative, and uh, she was sent here because um, both her parents died, and her aunt didn't want to take care of her anymore. Her aunt is her only living relative. Um, I'm putting her in one of the smaller lots uh, down in the bottom right hand of the screen when you're in Managed Worlds in the Look Creek. Um, so she said her to live here full time. Uh, but she's a good kid. She's like, you know, she's nice. She's not like mean or dumb or anything like that. She's just, her aunt is just kind of mean. Uh, and then the last kid I have living here is Jarvis Mansfield. Oh, I don't know why. He's neat and he has the rambunctious scamp uh, aspiration. They're kind of contradictory. He's like, rambunctious scamps play outside and neat sims don't want to get the clothes dirty. So I don't know why I have that. It just, I, uh, just seems like a sort of thing uh, he'd have. Um, he's he doesn't really have a special story. I just need more sims and I didn't want to be a stereotypical swimmer who just makes girl sims. So. Jarvis Mansfield, everybody. Um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you.